Hey guys, it's Sensu here, and welcome to part 3 of my video reply to Chevex posts on the forums that indirectly and passively aggressively attack some of my posts, opinions, and videos on the internet. And in this video, I'm going to undertake the same encounters that Chevex did with uh, the party that he made, or very close to the party that he made, and perform those encounters in the same ma manner that he does, but do them in a much more optimal fashion. Okay, so um, I've made a couple of changes to gear based on the area because um, the armor system in Pillars of Eternity encourages you to uh, strategically change your gear around. So what I've done here is I've changed the fighter's equipment to a Morningstar because I don't find that using a shield against beetles helps because poison, for some reason, can still proc on grazers. Um, so it doesn't really matter if I have a shield on, fighters are going to get poisoned anyway, so I may as well go for DPS. And I've also given my rogue the Arbalest because bows are pretty terrible against beetles as well. Okay, so um, now what Shevek likes to do in the Deerford Crossing is he plays on easy and normal primarily, and he likes to walk around and individually pull uh, individual beetles and beat them down because he doesn't like having to put effort into fighting. Um, he doesn't like having to use abilities, he prefers playing passively, and he doesn't like pausing. So he, it seems like he'll do anything he can to reduce uh, the amount of those activities that he has to perform. And for some reason he thinks that pausing equals difficulty as well. Um, but So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play in the same fashion, but I am, I am actually going to use a couple of abilities. Um, one thing he was doing in his video is he wasn't using any of his Cypher's abilities. Cypher has some crazy stuff. They are ridiculously, insanely overpowered. Um, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do here is um, first. First thing, if you want to actually try and pull enemies, you should use a stealth function. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into stealth, and I'm gonna use my rogue to come in and scout up what's up ahead. Over here we have a stone beetle. So I'm gonna use blinding strike on the stone beetle. Now I'm gonna move back. Oops, and now I'm going to block uh, the path to the rogue with the fighter and the barbarian, and he's going to borrow, so I'm going to block that space as well. And now I'm going to move the rogue away before he gets engaged, and I'm going to kill the stone beetle. So as you can see, I didn't take any damage. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one. Let's go full party stealth. We know there's two wood beetles over here, from, well I do, from previous play. Yep, there they are. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use a Cypher ability, because as long as you've got enough power to cast Cypher abilities, you can use them. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to open up with this one. Okay, so that disables that, that um, beetle there. Now I'm going to use this, I'm going to use it again. Alright, so they're now both disabled. Ta-da! I use some abilities, and now my my focus goes back to default, and I can keep repeating this with the cipher, which is really funny. So I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, so tenuous. Uh, wonk. Let's grab my range characters. Dead. Okay. Let's do it again. And I can probably do that on that one as well. Go up a blinding strike because that's optimal. Auto attack with the re priest. Oops. Finally, the micro stutter in this game makes it hard to select characters sometimes. And I don't know why they're not performing attacks. Alright, see, I didn't take any damage again. Now there we go. Move my fighter across. Uh, I've still got enough to cast to disable again, so I'll do that. Move my fighter in. Go there. Uh, I actually should activate my chant, I reckon. Should be a good idea. Alright, so I took a little bit of damage there. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Just make sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, there you go. Same encounter. Didn't lose anybody. Took hardly any damage. That was difficult, wasn't it? Yes, it required so much effort, so much pausing. And this is the thing. I'm not saying that 
the combat in Pillars of Eternity is hard, I'm saying it's easy, and I'm saying it's boring, and I'm saying it requires no, it's not tactically challenging. Those are the three things that I've been saying. Pausing does not equal difficulty. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with the walls. Going to stealth. Back to 35 focus. Oh, yay. There's a wolf. I'll get ready to uh, queue up a blinding strike on that wolf there. Okay, yep. Attack. Come with a barbaric blow. I didn't mean for my fighters to auto-attack there, actually, but, um, okay. See how much health damage I've taken? Pretty much nothing. Haven't had anybody knocked down. I haven't really paused that much either. Okay, yep. Use a blinding strike. Didn't take any damage again. How about that? And I didn't even use the Cypher ability. Da -da -da. There you go. Same encounters that Shevek's done in the same fashion. And look how much oh, I did all those encounters without losing a single character and without taking much damage at all. Now, the reason why I think Shevek made that video in the first place is because some of the, of the arguments that I've been making on the forums slightly, possibly, not, not even 100%, uh, would change the way that he would have to play the game. He likes um, not, not facing any challenges. He likes the game to be easy. He doesn't like having to pause. He doesn't like having to use abilities. He just prefers auto-attacking and just, you know casually strolling through the game. That's fair enough, but I don't think that's the type of game that Pillars of Eternity is supposed to be. It's the type the one of the aims of the combat in Pillars of Eternity is to to um, make make the player perform more actions in combat. It's supposed to be tactically challenging. However, the combat is currently not doing that, is not fulfilling that role. Not even on the hard difficulty which I have explained. And um, so I think that all of the things I mentioned in the first video um, should highlight the reasons for why Shevek is wrong and uh, the ulterior motives for why he's making his video. So this this video here, for anyone who's, who's watching, is with the same party, how to beat those character, how to beat those encounters with virtually no effort, with a little bit of pausing and with using a couple of abilities. There's not actually that much difference um, in the way that we played. Um, so hopefully making this series of videos won't start a shitstorm on the forums. Um, I don't really mean... Um, I don't really have anything against Shevek. I just... Per I really, really think that he's wrong about his opinions. And um, I really think that Pillars of Eternity should not... or the, the design for Pillars of Eternity should not be based around his preferences. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all on the forums.